Hi friends, welcome back to Sunday School. Oops, I mean Someday School. This week, we're learning about the fruit of the Spirit, patience. And I am so excited because we have Micah, Charlotte, and Ellie here to help teach us about this lesson. But before we get started with worship, there is a Bible verse that we want to learn together. So these are the motions. Are you ready? You gotta stand up at home and get your arms on your shoulders. Okay, it goes like this. Do not become tired of doing good. At the right time, you will gather a crop if you do not give up. Can you guys do it with me again? All right, are we ready? Are we ready? <laughs> All right. Do not become tired of doing good. At the right time, we will gather a crop. If we do not give up. That was a great one. That's from Galatians 6, 9. All right. All right, good job. <laughs> Thanks, guys. And now Micah has a fun little challenge for Ellie and Charlotte. All right, so today we brought little treats. Now, you guys can do this at home with your parents if you wanna practice. So we have a really big treat right here, all right? So we have two fancy ladybugs. I'm gonna let Charlotte hold that. Okay, you got that, Charlotte? And then we have one little cookie. It's probably pretty good too, but it's not quite as big as that. So I'm gonna give that one to Ellie. <laughs> so since we're learning about patience today, I'm going to ask Charlotte and Ellie if they had the choice, if they could either eat the little cookie right now and not have to wait, or they could wait as we teach you guys this Bible lesson and have these big, giant, beautiful ladybug cakes. But they have to wait and exhibit patience. What would you guys do? All right, as the lesson goes on, we'll find out. Okay, let's put them over here. Today, we are going to read a story out of the Bible 
that talks about someone who exhibited a lot of patience. And not only did he exhibit patience, but he had a very cheerful heart and a good attitude while he was patiently waiting. And that's really important because we can be patient, but sometimes we can be really grumpy about it. But being patient and having a cheerful heart and good attitude is actually the way God wants us to wait for things. So today I'm going to tell you about the story of Joseph. And if you're reading along at home, you can find this story in the book of Genesis. So we're going to tell you the story with our little puppets over here. So let me introduce you to Jacob. Say hi, Jacob. Hello. And let me introduce you to Joseph. Hello. All right. So Joseph was Jacob's son, and he was his favorite son, and his brothers were all a little bit jealous of him. One day, Jacob gave Joseph a very beautiful coat. It was a rainbow coat and all of his brothers saw it and they were really really jealous of him so after their dad went away the brothers took joseph out far away from their house and they threw him in a pit to get rid of him bye joseph they took his coat though because they wanted to trick the dad and they covered it in blood and they took it back home and gave it to Jacob, and they told him that Joseph had died. So the brothers thought they had solved that problem, and they went on with their life. Meanwhile, some slave traders found Joseph, and they took him to Egypt and turned him into a slave to the Pharaoh. So for many years, Joseph was a slave to the Pharaoh. And being a slave, he had to do whatever the Pharaoh told him to do. And he lived where he told Go him to live. Okay. And he didn't really have a lot of free choices of his own. But he patiently waited because he knew God was in control. And he would put things right. And you know what? He was, he was right about that. Because Joseph had been bestowed a special gift by God. And he could interpret dreams. And the Pharaoh used to have really scary dreams. Do you guys ever have scary dreams? Well, he didn't know what these dreams meant. And someone had told him that there was a slave named Joseph who could help him. So he called Joseph to the um, castle, I mean, Joseph. the palace, and he told him about his dreams. And sure enough, with God's help, Joseph was able to explain to him about his dreams. And the Pharaoh felt so much better now that he knew what they meant. And Joseph kept helping the Pharaoh, and eventually he became so close to the Pharaoh that he was his special assistant. He was like the vice president for us, but he was like the assistant to the Pharaoh, and this was a really big deal. Yeah, my and his brothers had heard about this, but they were really afraid because of all the mean things he had done. But eventually a famine came across the land, and the brothers had to come and beg the Pharaoh and Joseph for food and supplies. And they came and they saw Joseph and they were very frightened. But instead of being mad, Joseph was so happy to see them and he embraced them and gave them a big hug. And he let them know that he forgave them because he was patiently following God's plan and this was part of it. And he did so with a cheerful heart. So at the end, the family was happy. They had a big party and a big dinner and everything was well. And that's the story of Joseph. Thank you, puppeteers. All right, so patiently waiting. Ellie and Charlotte have been patiently waiting. Let's see, do you guys think they've eaten the one cookie? Mm, no, actually look, it's still here. So they chose not to have the immediate reward. It looks like they are still patiently waiting. Right, girls, are you patiently <laughs> waiting for these? Is it hard to wait patiently? Yeah? yeah yeah so sometimes to get a greater reward we have to wait patiently right yeah. all right well that's all we have for right now and here's miss rachel that's it's true waiting patiently for a reward is really hard and that's why i'm going to tell you about our garden update right now because i'm patiently <laughs> waiting for some little sprouts to sprout up so far we have nothing but you know what we're just going to keep watering and putting them in the sun and wait to see what happens because eventually if we do not give up we're going to reap a crop that means something beautiful is going to grow 
Hey guys, I'm here with Ellie and Charlotte and we're working on a fun craft. What are you making, Charlotte? I'm making a, <laughs> I'm making a picture frame kind of right now with tissue paper. Oh, cool. Do you want to hold it up to the camera so it can see? Yes, sure. I'm not finished with it yet, but I am working on it. It's looking beautiful. What are you making, Char I mean, Ellie? Sorry. Glitter glue. Glitter glue. Oh. <laughs> Do you want to show the camera what you're making? It's glittery and gluey. Glittery and gluey. Aww. Who is it for, Ellie? For Hallie. I was right. She was right. And I am making something, too. This is just my, I'm making beautiful stationery to put my letter on. And you know what? Because we're learning all about patience, this is a great way to practice learning about that in a hands-on way. Because we're going to send letters to our friends and see how long it takes to receive one back. So if you happen to be getting one of our letters, would you please mail a card or letter back so we can practice waiting patiently? We would love to receive some mail back from you. And you know what? If you're watching this at home, where else would you be watching it? I don't know. But you can practice sending a letter to one of your friends, a family member, a grandparent. I'm sure there are a lot of people who would love to receive a letter from you. And then that will give you a chance to practice waiting cheerfully to get a letter back. I am all done with my picture frame. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty guys, time for a check-in. How is it going with your patience treat challenge? Hungry. I'm very hungry. You're it's very, very hard. hard. Very hard. Well, you guys have been doing a fantastic job waiting. Let's practice our verse one more time with our friends at home. Putting temptation in Ellie's way. And then after that, it's going to be time. They've worked so hard and waited so long. They're going to get to eat the treat. All right, let's do it. Okay. It says, start off like this. Do not become tired. <laughs> I lost my motion just then. I almost went to crying. <laughs> do not <laughs> cry. Do not cry. No, but we don't want to cry either. Let's do the Bible verse again. Okay. Do not become tired tired of doing good at the right time you will gather a crop if you do not give up don't give up and if you are waiting patiently there is a special reward worth waiting for like these yummy yummy treats all right Ellie and Charlotte You gotta tell us if it was worth the wait. Yeah. yeah? Can you take you out? It's a chocolate cake on the inside. <gasps> Yum! Can you put this on the plate? Okay. You're gonna show us what you got, Charlotte? Yes. There you go. You're definitely gonna want some milk or water with this. Very sweet. Mmm. It's chocolate with some red frosting in the inside. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. All right. Well, guys, let's say bye to our friends, and then we'll see you guys later. Bye, We'll guys. see you guys next week. Bye. Don't give up.